What it do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So, okay, this video is about um, YK Osiris, as you can see. This was by request. Now, I'm laughing because as I was getting ready um, for this reading, I was hearing that Amy Winehouse song because I looked it up. Cause I remember this show. Let me know if y'all seen this show, The Secret Life of a Call Girl. Okay? The theme song of that show. And I couldn't remember the name of the show, so I had looked up the name of the song, and I was like, okay, yeah, Amy Winehouse, and I put it in a TV show, and I was like, and it's funny because I had some questions here, and one of them was, is he a male escort? Um, So let's just get to the questions. Y'all remember that show? Okay, um, why is he having a mental breakdown? Because other industry rappers, um, don't want to talk to him. So, of course, if you've seen the videos, it does look like there, there is some mental health things going on here. Maybe a cry for help. And, of course, especially as black men, we do want to take that seriously. Their mental health, because a lot of them hold a lot of things in. Okay, so what is going on? What's going on? Now there is this there there definitely is an escort um kind of call girl energy here. Definitely someone who might use their body for money or is definitely promiscuous and, and kind of gets around. Okay. Now this it, it presents itself as a feminine energy. I'm not sure if it is. I do get a sense as well that there are, there are a lot of projects that he might have wanted to work on with them. It's like they kept trying to sun him or like little man him. Okay, I do feel like he put in a lot of time and effort, kind of like a do boy. What is this? Now, I believe he might owe Drake some money. This has a lot to do with money. I feel like he has his hand out a lot. Or he might borrow a lot. Or he might owe a lot of people. There's something here about um, people cutting ties with him over money. Okay? And I feel like he shows a lot of fake love. And people can see through that. <laughs> it's like Drake and Lil Baby, this energy. <laughs> I feel like they they have definitely energetically um made amends with the situation. Like it, it ain't no bad blood. And there's is something here about needing to get clean or doing so. Yeah, Drake is like a godfather. <laughs> I don't know why for him it seems like it's more of an emotional tie than business. Like he's he's taking things a lot more personal. He's taking these a lot more personally than they are, okay? I don't know. What is this?
This feels like some sorority shit. Mm-mm. And he was with Jermaine Dupree too? Is he really a male escort? Is YK Osiris? Mm. Let's see. I mean, I mean, right off the bat, I would, I would yell no. You know, I feel like his soul would yell no. Hell no. You feel me? What's this about? I don't know. This feels like some internal struggles here. Like it's even, it might even be hard to admit to himself what's really been going on. I don't know if he's been um, under the influence of something and just. Once again, I do feel like a lot of this is more business than pleasure. There's just so many secrets. Like he know, yeah, he knows so many secrets. And I don't know if he's allowed to tell, but it's like this shit is eating him up. It's even hard to like put into words. There's a lot of mind fuckery going on here. Like he might be under some kind of mind control or like disillusion or like hallucinant. How you say that? Hallucinogens? There is something about um, traveling. I keep hearing Peru. Peru, somewhere in Europe. A lot goes down in Paris. Niggas in Paris. <laughs> and I keep, yeah, I, I can't. Okay. I knew I wasn't tripping. There's something about a body. There is something about a fucking body. Moving a body. He knows about it. Something is eating him up. He knows so many secrets. And I think that's why they they are so, um, they give so many handouts to him because he does know a lot. What is this? What's going on with this? I know it's Drake. I don't know what his relationship is with Drake. That's the question. That's the real question. I think that would answer it all. What is going on with Drake? What's going on with you and Drake? Whatever it is, it's not healthy for two grown men.
he really feels betrayed by him. I don't know if he like completely cut him off. I'm telling you, it's like he's a lot more emotionally invested than Drake is. He's like he kind of, he kind of weird. I'm not bad. <laughs> I don't think he like that word. You don't like the word weird. You don't like the word crazy. He's a little um problematic. There's something here also about um, a woman here. I don't know if he has a girlfriend. What's going on with this young man? Let's, let's just move on because what the hell? Something ain't right. Okay, yeah. Why is why is he losing friends <laughs> and associates with the rappers he hangs around? Why is he losing friends? Why is this happening? I don't know. People keep taking his girl. I fucking his girl. Uh, he keep doing that to people. Also, I don't know. Somebody be having a crush on somebody. I don't know. If there's some kind of internal struggle here. He's a liar. He's a fucking liar. He's a clout chaser. He be using people and get cut off and then want to um clout chase off that. Nobody feel sorry for you. That's why niggas be, yeah, they be running up on his ass. You see, you see how they, they be running up on his ass. A lot more than you think. There's something about him that's just a little phony. Whoa. I'm telling you. That's the Seven of Swords, by the way. And he might like to steal too. We got some sticky fingers. Somebody do. I'm just saying, somebody do. From what I'm sensing intuitively, somebody got some sticky fingers here. And always like telling different stories, making shit up. Like he's so and so cousin and. fronting big time. I don't know. I think that's what's going on here. Trying to maintain this lifestyle. But I do feel like he's he, he to himself he's put in a lot of work. He's sacrificed a lot, like literally. I feel like uh, it, it might be as far as music too. Because this feels like some intellectual property.
and not really, um, maybe not getting paid for his uh, music or his work. Kid. Also, it's like he He's so sneaky It's hard to even like get through to the truth It's like You don't know what's the truth you don't know, like, it, I, I don't know what he does. Like, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows what this nigga really does, but he always pops up. I'm trying to, like, like, it, nobody knows. I think, like, that's, like, that's the thing around town. Like, nobody... so much or somebody does I don't know what this is about a woman what's going on here Somebody here. <laughs> this <laughs> I don't want to say it because <laughs> if she do it, then cool. But somebody's gonna start telling all his business. Like somebody's getting tired of him. <laughs> somebody's getting tired of him. Okay, this empress here. He be everywhere but the studio. Like, what the fuck? Everywhere but the studio with his hand out. Oh, Cyrus. Like, come on now. That don't even, that don't even fit the archetype, bro. Nah. Mm-mm. I do feel like he he has been blackballed a bit. Like he is being spiritually attacked. There's some things that he um or I just <laughs> let me see. <laughs> mm. I don't know who this female is. This feels like some kind of manager. What do they call them? A and R's. Like this is somebody in the industry. Or it's a feminine energy. Cause I def I I'm not getting masculine energy from anybody I'm talking about. But the <laughs> like anybody. Anybody. <laughs> this is the high priestess, by the way. I told you Drake got a coven, okay? He must be a part of it. What do y'all be doing, bro? This shit. It's almost Scorpio season. 
This shit, uh, there's definitely like a cloning lab. I don't know if Drake be ushering people in to the facility. I feel like it's like a boot camp. Ooh, ooh, you know, ooh, it's just like Diddy's boot. This is the same boot camp that Diddy had that Usher was in. <laughs> Drake got one. I don't know if he didn't pay his dues. It's something about having to surrender. Surrender. Surrender what? Surrender what? His mind. <laughs> yes, it's surrender his mind. Surrender mind control. Yeah, this boy, I don't even, ooh. What was the next question? Hold on. What's next for his rapping career? This has a lot to do with Jermaine Dupri. I keep feeling Jermaine Dupri. And here, um, a Libra. Rain Dupree got a lot of tendencies and proclivities. He like eager beavers, I'll tell you that. What's next for his rap career? Ooh. Might get jumped. this about maybe that's where it is now what's going on it's something about his record deal the record company yeah not being able to um maybe release the type of music he wants i feel like they are trying to like get him to like maybe toughen up his image i don't know if it's working also like A lot of people have <laughs> This feels like um, his whole family I don't know if they're talking to him I feel like he's been cut off from his family And this feels, I don't know, if someone like controls his bank account? There's a lot of confinement and constraint here. Now, a lot of it, it feels mentally like someone has. <sighs> mind control on him. Because all I can hear is Friday. But it's not funny. 
Oh my god, it's so crazy because it's now I hear Ice Cube. What's next with his career? Oh. And the label, like, I'm telling you, it's not personal. See, you think they be showing you all this love when you got that hit. And they building you up and they telling you, oh, you the next, you the greatest. Yeah, because you supposed to be, nigga. We done put all this money into you. The fuck? But whatever, um, mm-mm. Whatever his increments are, his residuals, mm -mm. and it's crazy because he's it's, this this is happening fast. What's going on here? Somebody. I get a sense there's somebody else here that wants to be famous. Feel me? I ain't gonna say that. This feels like um the people working together behind the back. I feel like he's been driven to this state. A lot of mental warfare. It's something about um, a lot of uh, hacking his phones. Maybe like getting different phone call, phone calls, and people hanging up. I told you, there's somebody here that wants to be famous. He still might owe little baby some money. Damn. Is that all? Mm -mm. So since he said, oh, he blew through millions. Okay, what is next for him financially? What's next for, um... YK Osiris financially, since he says that he blew through millions of dollars. He wasn't listening to nobody. You couldn't tell him shit before. Mm-hmm. Everything dried up. People stopped answering. <laughs> the people you thought were your friends that were getting you the VIP and everything. Yes, because you could pay your way. 
And then he started to borrow it. I feel like Drake even told him this shit. I don't know how he disrespected Drake, but that was not a good idea. Coming quick. Crept down the block. Made a right. No one seen him. Mm. She's in love with who I am. What is going on? Mm. Financially, I do feel like there might be um, some ways, some coping mechanisms here that he really would have to work through, you know, just to get a fresh start. Somebody here in communications with somebody higher than him. It's a female. And they have a lot to do with what he's going through. Mm -hmm. They have a lot to do with the stifling of his career and his finances. And his nightmares. And his suicidal thoughts. Why? know what women Shh. what's going on with the queen of cups what does she want let's just end it out what does the queen of cups want mm, this might have to do with a child somebody with a child is driving him crazy on purpose this also might be um, a mother figure here. And like I said, this managerial figure. But there is a lot of feminine energy around him. I don't know if he's been um, in a lot of relationships. I just, a lot of, yeah, it feel like a lot of soul ties, child. Mm -mm. Ooh. Yeah, he got like a, at least two different homes right here. Maybe three. But he's left himself spiritually open right here. And they're, um, whatever they're. <laughs> Plus what he got going on with men. what he got going on with his label. Okay. Until next time.